Hey y'all, out here at the Atlanta Motorsports Park with Concept One Pulleys, shooting some features, some cars. I'm in for a car show this weekend and I've got a really nice 71 Nova, but brand new by a Vietnam vet. As soon as he came back, he still got the car and it's a whole lot cooler now. I think you're gonna like it. So let me get the camera turned around. We'll take a quick look at it. Harold, thanks so much for giving me some time to look at your car today. Uh, you're welcome. Tell me a little bit about it. Uh, this is a 1971 Nova Super Sport. Uh, that I bought uh, 1971, uh, returning from uh, Da Nang, Vietnam. So I owned the car since it was new. Holy cow! First of all, let me just stop there and say thanks for thanks for what you did. Um, I go on all the time. I'm a veteran. I appreciate veterans. But let me tell you, the veterans from Vietnam were the ones that just I think they just had it the roughest, man. And oh. you didn't get you didn't get what you deserved when you came home, and you didn't get what you deserved when you were over there either. So thank you, thank you. Oh, you're welcome. So GM and Ford and everybody back then, they used to get on you boys, because like when you were getting ready to get out, didn't they like send you marketing literature and all kinds of things to try to sell you a car? Uh, the, the three big makers, uh, I, I recall uh, my first was from uh, uh, the Chrysler Corporation, then the second was from Ford, and uh, being there, and my first car I had was Chevrolet, and. Uh, uh, that was the love of the, you know, the maker that I liked, and so I just decided to stay with Chevrolet. Tell GM. me, tell me, have you done any body modifications or anything to it? The side markers, the chrome that came on the uh, side of the car, I had that those things removed, and uh, uh, those are about the only body modifications I did, and uh, everything else is somewhat original. Um, I decided to uh, try uh, a different style wheel. Uh, in the past, it's always been uh, GM rally wheels. Right. And I decided to go with a, a different wheel, different type of tire. Yes, and you got that stance right, too. So you uh, changed that a little bit. I, I changed the stance. Uh, I uh, pulled the, uh, uh, from the, uh, you know, the bottom, uh, I, I pulled the Chevrolet, uh, differential out and put a forward nine inch and put a four link uh, system in it uh, with uh, QAE uh, 150 uh, shocks on the rear and QA uh, 200s in the front so I could uh, get the stance I was looking for. Man, you nailed the stance. I mean, it's a good looking car, but that stance is right on. So when you bought it, it wasn't originally an SSS car? It, it's always been, it's a uh, black on black from day one. Very nice car. Mm -hmm. Harold, it's kind of got a stock look, but yet a custom flair to it. Yes, it is. Uh, I, I wanted to keep the stock look to it. Uh, uh, when I was sitting down designing it and, and explaining it to the upholstery people, and that's what I stuck to. Right. No, I think you pulled it off. I think, like I said, I, when you look in there, you know that's not how it came in 71, but you, you know it's not over the top custom, nothing really wild. Uh, the uh, stock seats are straight up and they stiff and uh, I wanted to have that, uh, uh, you know, the seats with the incline to right, them. Right, right. So you comfort, can lean back a little for, bit. Yeah, for yeah. the comfort. All right. And uh, it just worked out perfect. Oh, again, I think it fits the car really well. Mm -hmm. And, you know, is I say the car is not over the top. Now, when you look at it from the outside, it, I mean, it's got the look to it. But yet, when you get up close to it, what you've done is um, still not taking any of the cool out of it and you can still see you see that 71 nova and everything you've done motor interior everything i think you nailed it brother i think you you got your stance perfect and i think you just did a really nice job on it all together the ideas you have some you know are good some are over the top like you said but uh, uh the neat thing about uh, uh the ideas uh and the design that i put in you know, you can look at it and, and it's still got that original appeal, appeal even though some things have been changed. Um, uh, for example, I did away with the, the stereo system, the dashboard, the cigarette lighter, so it now it's got a real clean, smooth look at the dashboard. That's where I am today. Right, and you're gonna still keep working on it? Uh, yes, uh, it's about another uh, year away. Uh, uh, I, uh, one of the uh, first things I'm going to change, I'm going to change the brake system for sure. I'm going to go with a Wheelwood 14-inch uh, disc brake uh, all the way around. Man, it looks good up underneath here, Harold. 
Not overboard. You didn't go overboard. No, I, I, I tried to stay plain. Uh, uh, I, you know, uh, when I sat down and decided uh, I had Bennett Concept One, I saw their pulley system. Kevin, what system is this one running? Uh, Scotty, that's a, what we call our uh, Concept One small block victory series kit. So obviously for a small block Chevrolet, running air, power steering, alternator, uh, full kit comes with the Edelbrock water pump, the compressor, alternator, power steering pump, reservoir, all your pulleys, brackets, belt, bolts. Everything. Ha yeah, everything. And then you all work hard. I talked to Randy last night. You work hard to make sure that somebody can do it themselves if that's what they want to do. That's We've worked really hard to try to sell a kit that is made to fit. Right. You know, used to, uh, there's a lot of universal type stuff, oh, but yeah. we've really tried to make this something that a fella can can put put it together himself with standard tools. You know the definition of something that says it's universal? Yeah, what's well, that? It will fit nothing. <laughs> well, <laughs> it universally fits nothing. Uh, that's about that's about right. You're right. Oh, that's nice. So you say yeah. small block now. Will that do for the LS too, or you got another one? Well, we have another one for the LS. Okay. Yeah. Um, you know, going back and forth to different car shows, I start getting different ideas. And... Uh, I cop it off of some people, but I put my own touch to yeah, it. Yeah, your own spin. That's mm -hmm. how you do it. You yes, see an idea that you like, and then you go home and put your own touch to it, your yes, own spin I to it. You're running two fours on that? No, just one. Just uh, one. That's a 780, 780 uh, uh, quick fuel, double pumper. No, it's, like I said, it's nice. And it looks like maybe you've straightened that firewall out a little bit. I, I changed the firewall out. I took the uh, original, uh, that bulky... Um, uh, air conditioner condenser uh, out and I went with uh, vintage air uh, to clean the firewall up some. To get the stance in the front uh, I went with uh, a, you know, those uh, uh, small uh, tube A-frames and... A-arms. Yeah, A-arms. Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you've done the, done the work. I bet this thing handles like a dream now. It, a lot better uh, than 70. What? It, it's 71. Yeah. It's a 1971. It, it handles great uh, with the uh, QAE uh, shocks, uh, uh, having them balanced 200 on the front, 150 on the back. It's, it drives like a new car. How much horse are you getting out of it? Uh, this it? is uh, it's dynoed at 525. Man, that's a lot out of a little package. Isn't it, it? It's a lot for a little package, but... Uh, I got it for a driver, not to hot rod it around. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because you need 525 horse to go to Walmart and get some groceries. Uh, you never know. You, you just that. never know when you go to Walmart. <laughs> to, Especially if you take the wife with you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, uh, uh, I've done real good at so far at uh, you know just driving around. It's right now. Uh, it's a it's a brand new built, got 400 miles on it. Uh, uh, so as I break in, you know, breaking in along right. the way, uh, I'll change things uh, as, uh, as needed. I wouldn't change anything about the way it looks, brother. I think you nailed it. Yeah. So there you go from the Atlanta Motorsports Park, a 1971 SS Nova, owned by the same owner since brand new, and then he's a Vietnam veteran. How cool is that? Hope y'all have enjoyed it. See ya. Hey y'all, don't forget to visit scottydtv.com for more cool content and an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the logo at the end of this video.